how to dropship from AliExpress to Shopify, a full step-by-step -step tutorial guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start your own dropshipping business from scratch using one of the best suppliers out there, which is AliExpress, and learn how to research those products and sell them on your Shopify store, which is your online platform, one of the best ones for selling your products, which is 100% user-friendly. So even if you have no experience whatsoever and you really want to get into the field of dropshipping, do not miss this video. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, I'm Liran from AutoDS and in this video I'm going to show you how you can start, run and manage a successful online dropshipping business when dropshipping from AliExpress to Shopify. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that are coming out in the world of dropshipping and so much more. That being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the action. Now before I start the full tutorial on how to create a dropshipping store on Shopify using AliExpress, don't forget that everything that I'm going over in this video, if you're the type that likes to read, I will leave a link to a full blog article right below this video where you can read everything you need to know about how to start a dropshipping business from AliExpress to Shopify. But in this video, of course, I'm going to add more bonus elements. So if you like to watch, don't go anywhere. All right, let's start with the basics. What is AliExpress? AliExpress is one of the world's largest e-commerce platforms or marketplaces where you can find millions and millions of products in every single category that you can think of. You've got many sellers in that marketplace, many Chinese sellers selling those products at very cheap and affordable prices. AliExpress is a super dropshipping friendly platform with many benefits for dropshippers such as you and I, AliExpress also offers great customer service with buyer and seller protection on both sides, support in various languages, and easy and comfortable payment methods. On the other hand, most of the products are being sourced from China, and many products from China take a long time to reach your target audience, but don't worry about all of that because I will show you how to overcome those obstacles. So that is a brief explanation of AliExpress, the supplier we're going to use to research our products and source our products on our dropshipping stores. Our dropshipping store, if you haven't guessed by now, is Shopify. So what is Shopify? Shopify is a huge selling platform, one of the biggest in the world where you can host your online business, which means you can have your own customized online store with your own custom domain name, www.yourstorename.com. And there you can create your store from scratch, which I will show you how to do in this video and start listing your products from AliExpress to Shopify. And then you need to market your products because you need to show your products to your audience. Just because you have a store on Shopify or anywhere else doesn't mean that anyone knows about it or knows that it exists. So I will show you how you can target your audience and market to the right audiences also in this video. But in general, Shopify is one of the best selling platforms for many people, individuals, small, medium and large businesses Many of them use Shopify as their hosting platform for their e-commerce stores. One of the things that I love about Shopify the most, besides the fact that your store is completely yours and it's not on some marketplace like eBay or Facebook marketplace where you don't really have control over your customers, here in Shopify, the customer is yours. There are no selling limits, which means you can list thousands of products even on your first day and start testing out the market. The store is fully customizable, which you will see soon, and there are no technical skills required. So even if you haven't started your own website before, it's perfectly fine with Shopify, it's super easy. If you're wondering if dropshipping is still profitable, if it's still a good business model to start even today, just take a look at this chart right here from Statista showing the estimated value of global dropshipping market size, which is a couple years ago in 2020, but with a forecast from 2021 to 2026. So look at what's happening over here. And what you're seeing here is revenue in billion US dollars. So in 2020, 2021, we had 130 to 160 billion dollars in e-commerce sales. Just look at what's happening or what's going to happen in the years to come. So if your question is, is it still profitable? profitable and is it still a good time to enter this business? This chart right here has the answer. And believe me, in five years from now, 
all those who didn't start are gonna look back, put their hands on their head and say, why didn't we start when we knew that it was a good time? Okay, so it's definitely still profitable in a good business model to capture and start even today. How much does it cost to drop ship from AliExpress to Shopify? This is a question that many people ask before they get started. So besides the profitability, what are going to be your expenses to start a dropshipping business and how much is it gonna cost to run it? So basically, to have an account in AliExpress costs no money whatsoever. Your only payment to AliExpress will be once you actually get orders and purchase it from AliExpress and ship it directly to your buyer. However, on Shopify, you have a 14 day free trial and I'll leave a link to that free trial right under this video, but do not start your trial yet. First, you want to take the first step, which is find the right product to sell, which we will go over in just about a minute from now. And only after you're done with the product research phase, only then will you sign up for your 14 day trial on Shopify. Why is it like that you ask? Because I don't want you guys to spend your 14 day free trial when you're only researching for products because you're not building your Shopify store yet. You don't need Shopify for the product research phase. So only after we're done researching for products and we're ready to start building our online store and list those products from our product research, only then will we sign up for Shopify and I will let you know when is the right time in this video. Now, besides that, your expenses to Shopify after the 14 day trial is your Shopify basic plan, which starts today at $29 per month. And once again, that's only after the 14 day trial. Besides that, for every transaction, transaction that you make, Shopify will take 2.9% transaction fee plus another 30 cents, which also depends on what payment methods you are using, but that is the average. Those are the expenses for dropshipping on Shopify, and believe me, those expenses mean nothing compared to the amount of potential profit that you can make here. Another question that people like to ask a lot before they start dropshipping from AliExpress is, will my customers know that my products are coming from AliExpress? So your customers are gonna buy your products from your Shopify store. They're not gonna get it in some Shopify brand packaging. They'll probably get it with an AliExpress Express logo. So how does that work? Well, basically, if you're going to choose shipping services like AliExpress standard shipping, you may get it in an AliExpress logo. But if you're using other shipment services, then there's not going to be any logos for AliExpress. But in any case, you can always reach out to your seller on AliExpress and ask them not to include any branding, logos, or anything else of that matter on the product's packaging. This way, no matter what happens, your buyers will receive their packages and they won't know that it came from AliExpress. Even if you do come to a scenario where the customer does see that he got a package from AliExpress, most of them will not really care. So don't worry about that. Put that on the side and continue with your dropshipping business. You will not have to deal with those issues. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Stop with the brief explanations. We got it. How do we dropship from AliExpress to Shopify? That's what we came here to learn. I completely understand you. I just had to get those basic things out of the way. So how do we actually start? Here are the basic steps that we are going to dive into. Step number one, we're going to learn how to find trending products to sell. Step number two, we're going to create an account on AliExpress and on Shopify after, of course, we're done with the product research phase. Step number three, we're going to have to find and use a dropshipping tool automation app for Shopify. Step number four, we're gonna learn how to import the products that we researched from AliExpress to our Shopify stores. Step number five, we're going to learn how to market our products so that our target audience will be able to see our product, go to our store and buy it. Otherwise, no one will know that our store exists. And step number six, we're gonna learn how to fulfill our orders because once we market our products, people are gonna see it and they're going to buy it. So now we need to learn how to fulfill our orders the right way. And step number seven, we're going to rinse and repeat for our success. And of course, in between all of this, you also need to learn how to build your Shopify store, which will come along with the territory. So let's get started with step number one. How do we find the right products to sell on our Shopify dropshipping store using AliExpress and other methods? So here are the product research methods. I'm gonna talk about my top three but there are more product research methods and this is something very important for all of you guys to know. Aside from just watching this video, which 
could be long but it's still relatively short with the amount of information that i could add inside you have a full free shopify dropshipping course from yours truly going over every step of the way for creating a successful shopify dropshipping store as you can see right here going over almost 40 lessons with a full resources pdf for you guys to follow that will help you guys get all of the resources that you need to start build and maintain a successful shopify dropshipping store now once again this course has almost 40 videos included in it with this resources pdf with a lot of more resources inside including a product research spreadsheet that will help you conduct your product research as you can see right here and an audience research spreadsheet that will help you target your audiences once you get to the marketing stage but there is so much more that goes along with this course along with building your Shopify store from A to Z. So where this video is going to cover it in a basic form, once you get all of this information, when you'll be ready to start and take action, don't forget to watch this course. It's available one, once again, 100% for free. And I will leave a link to it right below this video, but you can also simply head over to autods.com slash courses and enroll in this free course. All of the topics are there from how to find the best dropshipping products to sell to setting up your Shopify store that comes along with creating your Shopify account, naming your business, connecting your domain, creating a unique store logo, selecting your store theme, using a dropshipping tool to automate and grow your business, how to import products quickly to your store, how to optimize your product page to convert, creating a professional homepage, set, setting your store policies, your legal pages. We have ready templates for you on that boring subject, but very, very necessary for your stores, along with your navigation menu, store currencies, payment providers, checkout settings, shipping zones, online marketing methods, which will explain the best methods for marketing your online store, along with a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to run successful Facebook ads for your products, your brand, and your store. This is the way to get customers to engage with your brand, to get to know your store and your products, and of course, purchase your items so that you can make your profit. After we go through everything there is to know about Facebook ads, you'll also learn your order fulfillment, managing your returns and refunds, and more bonus lessons. So after watching this video and getting the basic explanation of everything, I highly recommend to take the next step and take that course. Okay, so let's go back to the methods. In the Shopify dropshipping course, you're going to learn about some of the best product research methods, which will, which will also include using the spreadsheet right here, and of course the audience research, research spreadsheet as I mentioned, when you'll start to market your products. But for now, let's go with my top three methods for product research. And this is the best way to learn about what products are trending in the world of dropshipping when you have absolutely no experience on what products are actually selling well and what are the best categories for you to choose is to simply head over to the aliexpress dropshipping center so from the blog below i'm simply going to click on this link to get to the aliexpress dropshipping center log into your aliexpress account if you don't have one on the top right simply click on sign up fill in your basic information and you'll be right inside the system once again no credit card required no payments required to sign up for aliexpress then all you have to do, you may not see this link in the navigation menu in AliExpress. They usually show it to people who already have a few purchases under their belt. Simply click on the AliExpress dropshipping center link in the article in the blog below, and you'll be taken to the dropshipping center on AliExpress. What you wanna do here on the left side is click on find products to sell. And here you'll have a pretty randomized list of what products are selling along with their number of orders, which of those orders are dropshipping orders, what is the average product rating, the sales performance, and you can analyze each product more to see its sales history. But here you wanna enter a specific product category or even search for something. For example, if you're interested in the fashion niche, let's say hats, and I'm gonna search for hat in the search field and see how well certain hats are selling on AliExpress. AliExpress is providing this information for us 100% for free because they wanna help us with our product research and to learn what products we should be selling and what is trending right now on the market. So here I just search for hats and in the top three results, I already have one product that sold 118 times. So what I can do here is click inside to analyze this product, which has a five average rating, which is very high. It means that customers are satisfied with this product. And once again, when you analyze it, you can check its sales history. So this is one way to see what products are selling well on AliExpress. You can play with many filters here, like 
where it's shipping from, where it's gonna ship to, so you can target the right audience that you wanna target, the estimated delivery time, minimum and maximum price, if, you, if it has free shipping, if it has a video, and so forth. So the AliExpress Dropshipping Center is one of the first places you should go to to see what products are trending today. Next, you can simply check out the top ranking section using multiple dropshipping suppliers, not just AliExpress. But if you do want to use AliExpress, you can simply jump into different product categories and see what products are selling from there. Another thing that you can do is also learn how to analyze the sellers to make sure that you are using sellers that are high quality sellers who ship their items quickly. So let me just show you a quick example. I just clicked on the surveillance items that is under security and protection just to check out this category. Now here I can see a whole bunch of products that are selling really well. What I wanna do is start filtering them and get the best products out of the bunch. So what I'm gonna do is click on this filter right here for four stars and up in customer reviews or customer ratings. Free shipping doesn't really matter because even if there's going to be a shipping cost, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use a dropshipping tool that will simply take the shipping price and add it to the source price and then calculate your profits the way that you wanna profit. This way you'll always be able to offer free shipping to your buyers even though you are paying for shipping yourself, but it will be included inside your source price. So here's a whole bunch of products that are selling well. I got them all in great reviews of four stars and up. Now what I wanna do is start checking out each seller because each product that you see here, AliExpress doesn't own these products. They don't have any warehouses. These are Chinese sellers. As you can see here, there's a ZCF official store. So that is one seller. There's MMP star store. That's another seller. There's PXYLZD official store so each one of these products is coming from a different seller what you want to do is learn how to analyze these sellers and I'm going to show you guys all kinds of extensions later on that you can use to help you analyze them but if you want to do it manually you can click on each product or click on each seller to get more information about them so right now I just clicked on the seller. Let's see what's gonna come up. So after clicking on the seller's link from the search, I can see the seller's store and see exactly what type of business I am looking at. And as you can see here, this seller is really niche specific for the video and surveillance category. Now, if I go back and click on that one product that I saw from the search, not on the seller's link, but on the product itself, I can get more information on that specific product and information on that specific seller. So these are, these are the things that's very important to look after before you start testing out these hot and trending items. First, is this item selling? So this item has 136 reviews, 1,431 orders, with an average rating of 4.7, which is relatively high. You wanna look for anything that has a 4.5 and above rating in the product's rating and also in the seller's rating. The sellers also get feedback from their buyers. And this seller is an especially high rated seller, as you can see right here. Item is described 4.8 above average, communication and shipping speed all 4.8 above average. Even if the seller would have had 4.7, 4.6 or 4.5, I would have considered them. But a 4.8 are great stats. The next thing that you wanna look at is to make sure that the seller has been active on AliExpress for more than one year. That's because there are many sellers that start their businesses and close within a year because they simply were not able to make sales and profit because they themselves didn't research the market correctly. And we don't wanna be trying to sell their products. So once again, this seller has been here since 2016. That gives them a six year advantage with super high ratings. So this is a great example of a seller that you should be looking at. And once again, here's his official store on AliExpress. So if you were thinking about the video surveillance niche, which is great for the dropshipping business model, it's just one out of many examples that you can use. This is a great seller to check out. And that was just after one quick minute of doing product research. Now you should know product research should take up the most amount of time when creating your dropshipping business. It's not for creating your store, not for doing all of the fancy and decorative work around creating your store. And as important as marketing is, your product research is the most important part of your dropshipping business. That is because if you're not selling the right products, then it doesn't matter how well you did everything else, you're not gonna be making much sales and profit. And the, ne the next important thing after that is learning how to market your products correctly. Because even if you research your products correctly and sell the right products in your store that, that are in high demand, that don't have too much competition, 
if you don't market them to the right audiences or don't market them at all no one will know that they exist so those are the two things that need to come together that are the most important and vital for the success of your dropshipping business so one minute of product research like i did here is definitely not enough but it will give you a jump start into the product research phase so this is the second product research method that i recommend another great place to find the best and most trending products to sell from aliexpress to your shopify dropshipping stores is using autods internal product research tool and this is free for anyone to use who has an autods subscription so on autods on the top left click on those dots and then move over from the platform to product research and here you'll see our databases full of the best products to sell and we're always updating this database with more and more trending products so this is a great place to find your product ideas and then look for more listings that are similar to that on aliexpress so here on the left side for example you can click on popular products to see what is trending right now today and of course click on any one of these listings to get more information like customer reviews product specifications and so forth and if you even find something here that you really like, you can get them from AliExpress. As you can see right here, some of these suppliers are AliExpress. By looking at this logo right here, you can simply click on import product. And in just a few seconds, the product that you see right here from AliExpress will import to your store on Shopify. And you don't even need to go outside to AliExpress and browse over there. So this is another great place to find trending products to sell especially if you're dropshipping from aliexpress to shopify and not only that so here you can also play around with the filters and you can add more filters like if you want to get if you want to see products from a certain supplier or from a certain price range and so many more filters so this is really going to help you get great product ideas for your product research phase and also it'll help you narrow down those products and no matter what product research method you guys choose for your business, remember one thing, you have to spend hours and hours of work on product research. This is one of the most important parts of your of creating your dropshipping business. And even when you grow your business and, and you automate your business and you have most of your daily tasks being done for you, like importing products, price and stock monitoring, of course, is going to be done automatically when you'll use AutoDS. But once everything is really automated in your store, the only two things that you'll still have to do manually is one, product research. You want to research more products and get more niches that you probably haven't thought of before that can help you sell and profit a lot. And of course, customer service. Now you can get a virtual assistant to take care of things like customer service and also product research if they're really good at that. But you wanna start off spending hours and hours of product research yourself before delegating this task to someone else. And when you're trying and when you're trying all of these different methods of finding great products to sell, which I'll even talk about more after this, but when you start getting these products, I want you guys to add all of those product ideas to this product research spreadsheet that I talked about earlier before. And this is simply gonna help you narrow down the products and really get the ones that are with the highest potential to sell on your stores. So you wanna fill in the product's name, the source where you found the product, and then start answering all of these questions. Are you passionate about this product? Is this product hard to find in stores? All right, you got a yes and no drop down menu, so it'll make everything easier and faster for you. Is this product hard to guess the price? Is it hard to guess the price of this product? So if the answer is yes to all of these, then so far so good, right? Right? Is this product safe to sell? Is it a prohibited product? Is it something that has to do with weapon, ammunition? Because you cannot sell those. Is it a copyrighted product? Because you cannot sell those. Can this product be bought without much research? So is it a product that doesn't have a specific price tag on it? So if it's not being sold in under that specific price tag, then maybe the, nobody is going to be buying it. So can you buy this product without doing much research? I see this product and it looks like it's solving a problem that I really need for me. So I don't need to do much research before I buy this product because there is not much research to be done. This answers a problem that I need and I need this product. Does this product solve a problem or stand out? If it doesn't solve any problem and doesn't stand out in any way, then my uh, your customers will most likely not be buying this product. Does this product cost less than $30? If you want to start with medium to high ticket pr products, it's going to be harder to sell them, especially if you're just beginning and you're also going to have to put down more money on marketing to move high ticket items. So you want to start with cheaper items that's easier for customers to buy and easier for you to make sales, especially when you're starting off. 
And does this product comply with Facebook ad policies? Not just Facebook ad policies, but you can also check out eBay's Vero guide. Even if we're not selling on Facebook or eBay, all of these rules apply even when you're dropshipping on Shopify or any other platform or marketplace. It always helps to know the rules and regulations of what products we can and cannot sell and for what reasons. So once you fill in all of this information and you have more products, but let's say you are not passionate about some of them, or it's not hard to find in stores. When you find, w w once you'll have all of these products and all of the answers inside, it'll be much easier for you to narrow down your products and find that niche that you should start selling in. So I highly suggest to use the product research dropshipping spreadsheet. Once again, I'll link to that right below this video, and that will definitely help you guys out in the product research phase. Now we have more product research techniques, but this video I think has gone on for about half an hour so far, and we're still on product research. So we're gonna have to stop it here and move on to how to actually start creating your store on Shopify, because now that time has come. Although, if you wanna learn more about product research techniques and methods, and different types of strategies that you can implement besides what I went over in this video and besides what we have in that blog, blog article below, I want you guys to go over to www.youtube.com slash AutoDS, check out our Sell These Now playlist because we're always updating that one with new and trending products. And you can also head over to AutoDS.com slash blog and filter in product finding articles and read about all of the articles with the best and most trending products that's always being updated every single week with new products. So definitely check out those two channels and you will level up your product research game by a lot. Okay, so let's put the product research on the side. Right now, you know that you're gonna work with AliExpress, you know about the differences, you know about all of the benefits of dropshipping from suppliers like AliExpress to dropshipping friendly marketplaces like Shopify. So you know that you're using AliExpress as a supplier, you know that you're using Shopify as a selling channel, and you know how to find products with high potential to sell. The next step is to actually create your Shopify store and start importing those products from AliExpress to your Shopify dropshipping stores, and that is what we're going to go over in this next section. The first step to starting your Shopify dropshipping store is by signing up to Shopify and getting your 14 day free trial. Use the link below in order to get that trial and then you'll have two whole weeks to create your store and not pay anything to Shopify until your store is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right after we're done researching what products we wanna add to our stores. Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead, use the link below to get your 14 day free trial and start your Shopify store and register for your Shopify account. Now, when you register for that Shopify account, you'll go through a step-by-step -step process of choosing a name for your store and also connecting it to a custom domain name. So here you can have your own www.yourstorename.com. Don't forget to check out our Shopify course because we've got a step-by-step -step video tutorial process on how to do all of this. Now, once you're done with that, you'll be logged into the Shopify dashboard and it's going to look like this. Now, this is just a demo store, so don't expect any statistics when you're watching this, but this is the Shopify dashboard. And on this dashboard, you'll have a, an onboarding process to show you the step-by-steps that you need to take in order to get your store up and live but you don't need any of that if you're gonna take our Shopify course and of course listen to this video. So here on the left side basically you're gonna have your dashboard here on the home. You can see your orders right here on the order screen even though you'll also be able to see that on AutoDS and it'll be more, much more convenient there. We'll get to that soon. And of course the products page where you can see all of your products but once again on AutoDS you'll have a better overview of your products and how many people have been viewing them, how many times you sold them and so forth. And you've got your customers list so once you start getting obtaining customers you'll see that, that them, you'll see the list over here. And you've got your store analytics. Of course, you're going to add more things like the Facebook pixel, which is one of the most essential ways to track your customer's behavior, your visitor's behaviors, everything that they're doing on your, on your store. So you can see if maybe they're getting stuck on a certain process and then they don't move on to the checkout process and then you can optimize that little part in order to make it work the next time. And you'll also be able to use it to retarget your audiences. Those, for example, who added items to their carts but didn't go through the checkout process but they still left their email so you can use that and so many more methods of retargeting and simply optimizing your stores to get more sales. 
all of that once again in the free Shopify course. So take that course. I won't have enough time to explain that in this video on the how to step by step process, but this is something that you really need to know when it comes to analytics. And of course, marketing, marketing, marketing. It's all about marketing. Once you're done adding products to your store and your store is about to go live and it's ready and you've got all your legal pages, all those things that we're gonna talk about, you have to go through marketing. You have to learn how to market your products. This is where you have to put your hands in your pockets and see what budget you can put on the side for marketing because this, at the end of the day, is what's going to bring people to your store and you wanna of course target the right people. We're gonna go through all of that. Then you've got discounts. Here's where you can create all kinds of promotional codes and so forth to offer your first time visitors a reason to come and buy. And of course, leave their email addresses for your email marketing list because you want to get email promotions, email marketing as one of your marketing methods. And you've got Shopify apps. We're also gonna go over some of the best Shopify apps that you need to add like customer review, importers, and so forth. And here in the online store, you can optimize everything on your online stores, including your themes and so forth. As you see right now, I'm using the free debut theme. A lot of people are using this theme. You can also use it and get good results. And one of the best things about it is it's completely free and it really does help convert our visitors into buyers. Then you've got blog posts, which is something that I highly recommend to do when you're starting a Shopify store. You wanna also have blog posts because that can bring organic traffic from Google to your store. So create blog posts about things that have to do around your niche. So for example, if you're starting a pet store, then write a couple, then write a few blog articles on pets, on the type of products that they like, or how to take care of your pet, or all kinds of tips for dog walking and anything that you can think of. This will simply bring free organic traffic from Google onto your store. And sometimes when people see this type of value, they say, okay, this is a pretty cool business. It's actually helping me understand more things about my dog. Oh, and I also see that they're selling these cool dog collars. So why don't I go ahead and give them a try? So that's one thing that works really well for all kinds of e-commerce websites, blog posts. Then you've also got pages. So this is where you can add all kinds of things like your terms of service, your shipping policies and so forth. And if you wanna add more pages and also you've got your navigation menu. So we go over also that in the Shopify course, how to set up your navigation menu so that your buyers will be able to see the, 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 the right and most important pages, whether it's on the header part of the website or if it's on the footer, either way you wanna have the right pages and put them in the right menus. That's what you got the navigation for. Then you've got your regular store preferences, Facebook synchronization, and more. So we're touching all of these subjects on the free Shopify course, so be sure to check that out. Now let's continue on the step-by-step. -step. All right, so we created our Shopify account. We started our 14-day free trial. We signed up and connected our own domain name, and we also chose what theme we wanna use right here in the online store settings. Okay, so let's start adding products to our stores. How do we do that? First, of course, you can do it the manual way, which I definitely do not recommend because this is simply going to eat up all of your time and you'll never really be able to scale and grow this business. The way to do that is to simply go to your supplier's website, download all of the images and all of the text and simply paste them onto Shopify manually when you're adding your products from the product screen right here on the left side. Now, once again, this is not the way to do it, especially if you wanna scale and grow and really profit from this business. So we're going to put all the manual methods aside and move to doing what the biggest drop shippers in the industry today are doing, which is of course using business automation. So how do we do that? The first step is to download and install the AutoDS all-in-one dropshipping app on your Shopify app store. So of course you've got a link to that below. You can head into you can head over to autods.com slash Shopify to also find that link or just simply head over to the Shopify app store and search for AutoDS. Once you add that app you'll be able to enjoy everything that has to do with business automation, including price and stock monitoring, really, really quick product importing, which I will show you now, price automation settings, many store automation settings, free templates to use, and one of the most important things that I love the most, automatic orders or a fulfilled by AutoDS service, which simply handles all of your orders for you 100% automatically with and also without using your own buyer accounts on your supplier's websites. So you don't have to worry about getting your accounts locked and all kinds of problems that come along with having your own buyer account from your supplier's websites. 
and of course easy one click returns so whatever problem you think you may have you won't have it and your orders will be, will be processed even while you travel even while you sleep and while you simply handle your day-to-day -day life once we registered for our shopify store and for our auto ds account our next step is to add our shopify store to auto ds so there will be a full synchronization between the tools and the marketplaces so what we're going to do next is click on add stores here on the top left side you don't see add stores because i already got my store but you'll have a step-by-step -step onboarding process when you register for AutoDS for the first time you'll need to add your store so what you're going to do is click on add store then it'll ask you for your shopify stores url before you got the custom domain so add that url and the process is very self-explanatory so follow the step-by-step -step process and add your shopify stores too but before i get way too ahead of myself let's go to the product import process and show you how this is done so go to that product list that you want to add to your stores of course use that product research dropshipping spreadsheet to get those products but let's say that one of the products that you want to add is this product right here all right this pet dog toy interactive rubber balls for my pet for my dog for my cat whatever now there are several product importing methods on AutoDS, including a csv file uploader where you can import tens to even thousands of products at once using the AutoDS helper extension which is completely free to use from your chrome web store and you've got different methods like also the one-click importer where you simply click on one button right here to import that product to your store from your suppliers page and adding by url or ids and this is the method i'm going to show you now even though any method you choose is good and you can read more information about that on autods.com just check out our features on top so what i'm going to do right here is add this product that i see right here i want all of the variations that we see here and, and all of the different sizes that you see just remember one thing you only want to use products that have tracking information available so we talked about that before and i'm going to talk about it again before you add a product to your store from aliexpress make sure that they have tracking available under the shipment plans if you only have something like this right here a free shipping but tracking is not available this is not something that you want to add to your stores because this way the buyer won't be able to track the package you won't be able to track the package and if the buyer says they didn't get it you won't have any proof to show that to show that they did get it and you will have to send them a refund and then hopefully get it back from aliexpress this is something that you don't want to put up with so even if shipping costs some money in this case a dollar and 43 cents that is perfectly fine we're going to go with that in any case in the auto ds settings you can have the system take this shipping price and add it to your source price so in this case auto ds is going to say okay this product is not going to cost you two and a half dollars it's going to cost it's going to cost three and a half plus one dollar and 43 cents so that'll so that'll sum up to four dollars and 93 cents instead of 350 and if you want to make your profit you're going to make your profit on top of that with the shipping price so you have that option in auto ds in the pricer settings to get the product price with the cheapest tracking as long as tracking is available and not just the cheapest tracking whether we don't have tracking you can choose which one you want but always choose the one with tracking okay so what we want to do in order to get all of the information right here we're simply going to copy the product url up here and reminder this is just one out of the several methods that you can use to import products to your stores and save a lot of time using AutoDS. so i copy the url now i'm going to head over to the AutoDS platform and on the left side i'll click on add products and out of all of the methods in this case i'm only going to demonstrate the single product importer so i'm going to click right here on single product here i'm going to paste the products url or the product id so whatever i just copied from my browser i'm going to paste it right here now most likely our AutoDS knows what the supplier source and where the region is but just make sure that it's correct and then click on edit now quick what's happening now during these few seconds of loading is AutoDS is grabbing all of the products information from the supplier's website the product's name the description specification images and everything else and it's simply importing it to the drafts page of my shopify store from the drafts page i'll be able to optimize and by the way i can see that it already finished while i'm uh, creating this explanation so we're going to optimize this product and get it ready to move to our products page which then it will be live on our stores and anyone will be able to go in and simply buy it all right so here we are add a new product this is that pet dog toy interactive rubber walls toy that we saw so first we've got the product's title as you can see we've got 255 letter fields to fill in over here so this is where you're going to take out all of the repetitive keywords like pet dog right here i have it twice so we don't need it twice in the same title 
and you want to add in more keywords that are relevant to this product so go back to the products page and simply optimize your titles to make it different from what the supplier wrote on aliexpress but also very relevant to this product and its features so optimize the title, then you can add it to a certain collection on Shopify, which will help you later on understand and analyze each collection to see what is working well, what is not working so well, and make your business decisions from there. So we're gonna add this to a collection, for example, called Pets. And if we don't have one, we can simply create one by clicking in right here, where we've got that plus sign. Okay, so we just added a new collection called Pets. You can add more collections, remove from the collections, edit them, and so forth. You can also add product tags, which pretty much plays a similar role to the collections. Tags, you also got them on different marketplaces like eBay. Then you've got your country's location, the shipping methods, the default city, but just make sure that it is a city that's, that actually resides inside that location that you're choosing. So under the country location, you want to choose the right country where this product is being shipped from. So in this case, it's AliExpress China. We're going to keep this on China. Then you've got your monitoring. So we want AutoDS to monitor the stock. We want AutoDS to monitor the pricing, meaning if the stock or the prices ever change on AliExpress, the same changes will also be implemented on our dropshipping stores on Shopify without the need for us to intervene. So this is, the, this is a part of the automation that we're going to enjoy and benefit from when using this great dropshipping tool called AutoDS. Now, next you've got your description. So this is the product's description. Once again, everything copied from AliExpress and pasted into your product description onto your store. So of course, right here, what you wanna do is optimize the product's description, make it look good, make it look better than what the Chinese sellers do on AliExpress. You have many tips here to change your product's description. We're just gonna click right here on edit product description. You've got all of the different text fields and all of the different text fonts and different types of variations that you can use here of course create bullet lists numbered lists make sure that the buyer knows what problem this product is solving and of course if you've got videos on aliexpress you can also download those videos i will show you some video downloading extensions soon and you will be able to paste those videos right here and showcase the videos to your buyers videos do a much better job than images do and this is a place where you can add those videos and it will really make your product stand out so optimize your product description make it relevant and make sure that the buyers know what problem this product is solving and once again make it look better than what the chinese sellers add because they are not very good in english and not very good at describing what this product is and what it does you can also choose whatever template you want to use for your product page and with AutoDS, you also have many free templates that you can use so if you don't have any professional templates you can start with the free ones get some sales and then pay someone to create a nice unique template for you you can use places like fiverr or upwork to get them for as low as five dollars okay next you've got the variant section so here are all of the variations that AutoDS added from the supplier's website. So as you can see right here, we've got a whole bunch of different variations in different colors and different sizes. So AutoDS is going to add all of these variations from that one URL that we added here. So all of the variations that you're seeing right here will also be on our Shopify stores. And we didn't have to spend more than one minute to grab all of that information and get it on our Shopify stores. Okay, so we've got all the variations here. You can enter each variation one by one and change things like the variance weight, size, pricing, automation, and so forth. You can also remove variations and you can also add more variations even from a different seller. So if you want your listing to really stand out, I can go on AliExpress and find another seller with more great variations to this product, like, like let's say this dog chewy bone over here, and I can add those variations to the same Shopify listing, meaning no other seller in the world will have the same listing as I have right here because I can mix them from different suppliers and different sellers and put it all under one listing with more variations. So this is a great way to differentiate yourself from the competition and I highly recommend to implement that strategy. Next, you've got your product's images and the item specifications. So the images are what you'll see from AliExpress. All the images will have 
have been transported from AliExpress to your Shopify's product page. And once again, you've got your item specifications. So all the specifications that we had on AliExpress, once again, imported to your Shopify store. So with this type of automation, you can really focus on your product research, on your customer service, get more best selling niches and products, add them to your stores and continue multiplying yourselves and your success from there. With the help of automation settings, all of this is possible and more. Once you've optimized all of your products page, you can simply save it and of course import it to your store. Once you import it, it'll move from the draft section to the product section on AutoDS and that's how you'll know that the product is now live and anyone can go in and buy it. So what happens next? You've got your Shopify store, you've imported your products from AliExpress to your Shopify store. So now you've got your Shopify store with a whole bunch of products but there are still a whole bunch of stuff missing before we can even show our website to our buyers and have them go in and start to buy. What about our legal pages? How will our customers know who we are, how they can contact us, what our shipping policies are, what our return policies are, and more boring things that have to do with legal pages, but hey, it's boring, but we still have to get it done. And what about online marketing? How will even how will anyone even know that these products exist? So we know how to find products, how to find great trending products to sell on our stores. We know how to create our Shopify stores and how to start importing products from AutoDS to our Shopify stores. So now we have our stores, we chose our themes. What we're going to do next is take care of all of our store policies and legal pages so that once again, our buyers will know exactly what to expect from us and if they want to ask us any questions regarding the shipping or the returns or any other policy that we have, the, all they're going to do is simply go to these pages and get that information. And that will save us the time for customer inquiries, asking us questions and waiting for us to answer them. And some customers won't even ask us any questions. If they don't get the answer on our websites, they're simply going to skip on to our next competitor and get the answers from there and buy from there. So we want to avoid that as much as possible and give our customers our answers before they even think about asking them. So how are we going to get all of these store policies and legal pages and how can we really simplify this process and simply get it done? So we have a full article on the ultimate guide to starting a Shopify dropshipping business and everything that we have in this article is simply summarized from the Shopify course. So if you want to get everything in one article, you can read from this article and on the left side here on the post content from all of the different topics that we have for starting a Shopify store, I'm going to click on store policies and legal pages. This will take me straight to the section that I need to see and read and understand in order to get that done. Now, once again, guys, this is a summarized version of the Shopify dropshipping course. If you want everything in a more step-by-step -step and a more specific tutorial, once again, check out the free Shopify course and take it step-by-step, lesson-by-lesson. But in general, here I have ready-made templates for you for every legal page and every store policy that you need for your Shopify store. So as you see right here, store policies and legal pages, you can simply click on each and every one of these templates and get it ready for your Shopify store. For example, I'm just gonna click on the About Us page. And as you see, it's taking me to a template and this template has everything that I need for the About Us page. So what I'm going to do is simply save this page. I'm going to copy all of the information that I have on this page. And by the way, you can also get this from the Shopify course resources PDF as a standalone PDF file or as a standalone page where you can simply save it. But here, what you wanna do is simply copy all of this information. Okay, so I'm simply going to get all of this information and copy it. Now, inside these brackets, like insert niche, you're gonna insert your own niche, insert business name or website address. So switch that with the right information. Everything that's in the bracket, make sure simply that you are putting the right information there because it differs from seller to seller. And what are you gonna do once you copy that information? You wanna actually create the page on Shopify. So there are two places on Shopify to now create these pages. So what you wanna do is head over to settings on the left side on your Shopify menu. And there you'll have a place called policies right here in the end. So I'm going to click right here on policies. Here we've got a refund policy, a privacy policy, a terms of service, and a shipping policy. The rest of the things like frequently asked questions about us and so forth, are different pages that we are going to create. So that you're going to do from the pages section in, in Shopify and also add that to your navigation menu with these policies. So two different places, you've got your store policies and you've got your pages on Shopify for the rest of the policy pages or for the about us, frequently asked questions and so forth, whatever you see 
on the Shopify course or on that blog that I showed you that doesn't show up in, under the policies section, simply create a page for that. And once again, link it with the navigation menu. So they'll all be side by side. So this is where you're going to create those policies and those pages. Take note of that, use our free templates and save yourself all of that time from doing it yourself manually and knowing what type of information you wanna add there. So once again, all six pages and policies all done for you automatically right here. All right, now let's recap everything that we've had up until now and move further. So we know how to find the best products to sell on AliExpress. We know how to get those products and add them to our Shopify stores and of course create our own domain names, choose our themes, and of course import our products and make them look good on our Shopify stores. And we've also got all of our legal pages and policies. We got all that boring stuff on the side, but we had to take care of it anyway. And we set it up on our navigation menu, so now it looks good. Now we need to know how to market those products because now we've got our store, it's starting to look good, it's up and running, but nobody actually knows that it exists. So what we're going to do now is start marketing. And this is going to be a very essential and very important part on our dropshipping journey because right now you're going to learn a profession, a profession that you can take with you to many different things besides just dropshipping from AliExpress to Shopify. Online marketing is a great profession to have, whether you're dropshipping or whether you're doing anything else and trying to push a product forward on the internet. So let's start with what types of different marketing methods we have. What are the most popular online marketing methods that are available today? The first is using PPC ads. So PPC stands for pay-per-click, and this is where we run an ad on a certain platform like Google ads or Facebook ads and show a specific audience a particular ad by showing them a video or an image carousel or anything like that, simply showing them a product and saying, hey, this is going to help you solve a certain problem. This is the product, click right here to get it. Many people are going to click on that product. So that is a pay-per-click ad and you're actually going to pay for every time someone clicks on that ad. So it's all about bidding and auctioning. This isn't really something that you have to be a professor on, but the more you test it, the more you'll be able to get cheaper ads and run it to the better audiences and optimize your ads. And there's simply so much to learn in this world. But once again, we're going to give you guys the best amount of information so that you can learn this step by step. So one type of marketing method is PPC ads, pay per click. Everybody is doing it from the smallest to the biggest companies, and this is a great way to promote your product. So we've got PPC ads. We've also got influencer marketing. This is where you're actually using an influencer who has an audience based on the niche that you are trying to sell. And you're simply going to reach out to that influencer and tell him, hey, can you give my product a shout out over here? And for every time you shout out and make a sell from one of your audiences, I'll pay you a certain commission. So this way you're going to get people to go to your website, the relevant people from your relevant audiences and get them to see the product. They're going to trust that influencer because they're following that influencer. And if they're going to recommend a certain product, a lot of people in that audience are actually going to go and buy that product. So influencer marketing is another way to do it. The third is email marketing. And this is a great method to use. It's not easy to obtain a huge email address list for audiences that are relevant for your product. But once you get that email list with a few hundred and hopefully a few thousand subscribers, you'll be able to get to make some great email marketing promotions. And many people who haven't started online marketing yet usually ask me, but wait, Liran, I, I mean, if I'm going to send these emails, don't they usually just end up in the spam folder anyway? The answer to that is many of those emails will end up in the spam folder. And even if they don't end up in the spam folder, many people do not open up email marketing promotion campaigns. But on the other hand, you have the audience that do open it, that do convert to it. And today, the smallest to the largest businesses all use email marketing for one reason only because it still works even up until today. It's a great marketing promotion method. And if you haven't tried it yet, I definitely suggest to, uh, to get that email list, to build your email list from the audience that's interested in your product. And this way you're gonna have a free tool to promote your products on and people will be clicking and will be purchasing from that. So how do you obtain an email list with all of the audiences that you want? You can do a few things on your website, like give your buyers also, also of promotions you have many apps on the shopify app store that will give your buyers a promotion like hey give me your email address and take five or ten percent off your first purchase 
or any way when a customer wants to check out, they, they'll leave their email address so that you can send them order details to their email. So that's another way of getting their email address. And there are more ways, but those are some of the best ways you can also do more things like using Shopify apps that give a certain pop-up when someone enters your site, but don't go too crazy with pop-ups because you want to decrease the bounce rate. You don't want people bouncing out of your site as soon as they bounce in. So there are many methods. And once again, email marketing campaign is one of the most effective marketing campaign methods that you won't be able to implement from day one, like PPC ads, because you don't have a, an email marketing list but you will be able to implement that once you have that email address list and you want to work on getting that email address list from day one. So how do you use these marketing methods? We know about them, but how do we actually start using them? So for Facebook ads, you have a full step-by-step -step tutorial on our Shopify course for how to launch successful Facebook ads from day one, even if you have no experience running PPC ads whatsoever, it will take you step by step on how to do it. Also on how to run your ad, how to market your ad, how to budget your ad, and how to create successful converting videos that will help you get more and more sales. So you're gonna have a quick introduction to Facebook ads, how to set up your Facebook page, how to create a Facebook ads account, how to install the Facebook pixel, which I talked about earlier for tracking your events and helping you get more conversions, how to research your audience, which is very, very important. So the audience research spreadsheet is another thing that we're going to help you out with. Right here, you have this Excel file, which you will also have access to. And this is gonna help you get the right and relevant audience for your store by answering simple questions like who are the authority figures influencers and big brands in your niche what books magazines and websites does your audience engage with what types of events does your audience attend and what other relevant products does your audience use when you answer all of these questions you'll be able to fill them in when creating your facebook ad and it will help you not only spot your audience but also help narrow them down the best and the highest potential audience to interact and purchase and convert your product and after learning how to research your audience you'll learn how to create a video for your ad even if you don't have a video and you need to create a video and you don't want to do it yourself no matter what the options are you will be able to create a converting video for your ad you'll learn how to set your campaign goals and your ad sets how to launch your first facebook ad and of course how to analyze your ads after you created them so that you'll be able to scale your business scale your ads even further and make more sales besides that you'll also have free access to our eight steps to run Facebook ads for Shopify ebook. Now this ebook goes through step-by-step -step everything that you're learning in, the, in those videos. So if you're the type that likes to watch, watch. If you're the type that likes to read, read. And my recommendation, do both. This way you'll get the most amount of information in your head before you actually get started. Now in this workbook, you're going to once again, learn all of the basics on online marketing and everything that I just mentioned, how to create your Facebook ads account, installing the pixel, audience research and audience targeting, creating your Facebook video ads, how to set your campaign goals and your ad set, how to launch your ads and how to analyze and optimize them. Everything in this free, 100% free ebook by simply clicking on unlock your ebook, write your email, write your name, write your email address and get your free eight steps ebook. So this is going to cover everything that you need to know about online marketing and how to run Facebook ads. One of the most effective methods for getting your audiences and targeting the right audience to your Shopify dropshipping store. Now, what happens next? You went through all of the marketing methods. You ran some Facebook ads. You went through influencer marketing platforms with, but which by the way, you have an article on the 10 influencer marketing platforms for finding and partnering with internet influencers. So if you wanna learn how to reach out to those influencers, get the right ones for your niche and know how to negotiate with them and where you can actually find them, check out that blog article that we have. Once again, I'll leave a link to it right below this video. Now, what happens next? You know, you know how to market your products. You already marketed them. What happens next is, well, inevitably, you're gonna start making some sales. In other words, customers are gonna start placing orders on your store, and they're gonna expect to receive the products that they ordered. So you, on the other hand, you're gonna start getting those sales, and you'll be able to see them on the order screen on AutoDS. Now here, you can do a couple of things. One, you can process each order one by one manually, meaning go to your supplier on AliExpress where you got that product. You can even click on it right here on the sell item ID to see what, what product sold from AliExpress. 
You're gonna add that product to your cart and then you're gonna check out on AliExpress using your buyer's shipping address and not yours so that AliExpress will ship that product directly to your end customer. Now what you wanna do here when you're doing it manually is to reach out to that seller on AliExpress and ask them not to include any invoices from AliExpress and also not include the product's price and anything like that so that the buyer will have a, a smaller chance of understanding that this product came from AliExpress even though once again, even, even if they do know, they won't care at the end of the day, but you wanna take those precautions anyway. So, so reach out to, the, to your seller on AliExpress and let him know that. Next, of course, watch your credit line at the bank. Since you're using your own payment method and your own buyer accounts, you have to make sure that you, of course, you have money to process those orders and pay for them. Now, the better way to do it, especially if you're gonna start getting a few orders per day, and you don't wanna spend all day simply fulfilling orders. You, wanna, you don't wanna spend your time on that. You wanna spend your time in growing your dropshipping business by researching for more products and adding them to your stores, and of course, marketing them. So we don't wanna spend our time on the importing process and also on fulfilling our orders. So here you have two more options. The automatic order service, which uses your buyer accounts, but still automates your orders one by one so you don't have to fulfill them. The AutoDS system will take care of it for you. Or the more preferred method of fulfilled by AutoDS service, which means all you have to do is load balance onto your account right here and enable the automatic order service on AutoDS. Make sure that you have auto order credits in order to pay for each order. So each one will cost a few cents. And besides that, all of your orders will be, will be processed using your AutoDS balance. So it is a very simple process. All of the tracking information will get, will get updated automatically on the system and the order statuses will also change accordingly. So every order will start in a status of either pending or send to auto order, depending what you have set in your settings. And from there, it'll move to ordered with the order ID once the AutoDS system fulfilled that order. And it'll move to shipped once there's tracking information available from your, tr from your supplier, providing tracking information on AutoDS and on your Shopify store so that your buyers will know. And to delivered once it's been delivered. Once it's delivered, you can also start a return by simply switching the status to request a return. And if you are eligible for a return, then you will either get a, a return label right here where you can simply click on that to download your return label and send it to the buyer. Or you'll get a return failed if you are not eligible for a return. And then you'll have to also notify the buyer that they are not eligible for a return for this and that reason, showing them, of course, your refund policy. Now, the Fulfill by AutoDS service is going to save you the most amount of time and help you automate your all of your orders in blazing speed. So I highly suggest to check that out. And I'll leave a link to the Fulfill by AutoDS service right below this video if you want to learn more about that. So that is it when it comes to order fulfillment. You're either going to do it manually or you're gonna do it the semi-automatic or the full automatic way with the Fulfilled by AutoDS service and save the most amount of time for your business. Next, I'd like to also talk a little bit about customer service because this is a very, very important part of your creating and running your dropshipping business because when customers start reaching out to you and we don't answer them on time or we don't help them with their returns and their refunds and things like that, then our dropshipping business will slowly start decreasing in time until we realize that we really needed those customers and there and we needed also our repeat customers and our customers who are also referring us to their friends and their family because these types of loyal customers are very very important for the long run of our e-commerce businesses so always make sure to answer all of your customers requests uh, you can also see it on your shopify dashboard and also in the email address that you provided on shopify so check out your customers messages and make sure that you're not missing out on any one of their requests answer them give them the best amount of service that you can possibly provide even if your supplier on aliexpress isn't being so nice to you because i don't know maybe you're putting up with a seller that is not so friendly which you should have checked before you're still going to give better service to your customers just the way that you would expect it if you were that buyer. This will definitely help you in the long run, especially as I mentioned, since you want to get your buyers to tell their parents
parents or tell their friends or, or their family about your store and refer more people to buy from your store because this is 100% free organic marketing from lo your loyal customers, which is something that you really want and need for the long-term survivability of your e-commerce business. So customer service, very, very important. You want to get that done correctly. Now let's talk about some of the things that we didn't really talk about in this video, but you do have to know about it in order to run your store successfully. For example, setting your Shopify store currency and your payment provider. So you'll have more info on that, of course, on the Shopify course or on the blog article that I talked about. But this is where you're actually going to set the right store currency. And if you want to have multiple currencies, since you want to target multiple regions around the world, you want each customer to see their own local currency when shopping on your website. For that, you have a free tool called the Auto Multi Currency Converter. So you can use that and that will take care of using the right store currency for, sh for worldwide shoppers who are shopping on your website and want to see their own local currency. Next, you've also got your checkout settings and your shipping zones. What this does is it configures the checkout process, the checkout flow when your buyer is checking out on your website. For example, I recommend to allow guest checkouts, which means I personally allow guest checkouts on my website as long as they provide an email address. That, that is all I really need. I want my buyer's email addresses. I don't care if they buy a product for $1 or for $100. I want this customer's email address because they are interested in my product and they are filling in their credit card information because they want to purchase that product from my store. This is the most important audience that we need on our stores. So we, so we don't want to lose them in any case, in any way. So allow guest checkouts as long as they have an email address, for example. And there are more things which I talk about in that free course or in the blog article below. So be sure to read that. That has to do with your checkout settings. Now your shipping zones is where I'm actually shipping from. So of course you've got all the information below, but on your Shopify, on your Shopify dashboard, simply go to the settings and here you've got your shipping and delivery and you've also got your markets. So your shipping and deliveries, for example, where you're shipping from, you're gonna say, okay, the product is coming from China or the product is coming from the USA. And then you've got your markets, what markets you wanna, you wanna market these products to or which countries will have the checkout settings available when they enter my Shopify store. So here you can add multiple markets and not just market to one specific country. So once again, you're gonna learn about all of that in the Shopify course or in the blog article below. Go over that and make sure that you are creating the right shipping zones and that you're marketing your products to the right audiences so that if you don't want to sell to someone in Zimbabwe, but somehow they saw your ad or they got to your store, they will not be able to check out and purchase products from your store. So make sure you have that down and all the information, of course, is provided for your free and disposable use. Okay, everyone, we covered all of the most important parts of creating our Shopify stores. When using great suppliers like AliExpress, we know how to set up our stores, how to market our products, how to import them, all the legal pages, and all of the configurations and settings around our stores. Now let's take a bonus lesson and start learning about some of the best Chrome extensions to use when dropshipping from AliExpress because this is gonna help us get more sales and help us with our product research and much more than that. And I'm also gonna go over the best one-click upsell Shopify dropshipping apps so you can increase your average order value, get more sales, and profit more on each and every one of your orders. So let's start off with the best Chrome extensions when you're dropshipping from AliExpress. Now a Chrome extension is simply an add-on that you add to Chrome that's gonna help you with all kinds of aspects when dropshipping from AliExpress. For example, the first Chrome extension that we recommend, and once again, I'll leave a blog link to everything that I'm talking about below this video, is AliExpress free invoice. This extension will help you create free invoices for every, for each and every one of your orders. So if you need that for accounting purposes, up until now we've had We've had these add-ons that cost money or that have a, a, a monthly or one-time subscription. Now it's absolutely free to use. So if you need that for accounting, if your accountant is asking for invoices from AliExpress, get that from here. That's not gonna help you get more sales, but it'll help you as a business owner when it comes to your end of the month and end of the year finances. Two, you've got AliSave. And this extension is gonna help you save images and videos that you weren't able to download directly from AliExpress because 
Their platform doesn't always allow right clicking or even if they do allow right clicking, they won't allow you to save the images the way you want them to. So first of all, you've got the AutoDS importer which imports all of the images that it can from, from AliExpress. But there are all kinds of images that are also not grabbable, even if you're doing it manually. So you want to use AliSave to get extra images and videos from the AliExpress listing. And of course, paste those images and those videos on your listing when you're importing and optimizing them through AutoDS. The third extension is AliExpress search by image. And this is simply going to help you get an image from any other supplier. Like let's say you're hunting for products from Ali, from Amazon, you're going to their bestseller section or to their new releases and you're looking for product ideas from there, which is also a great idea, which you will also learn when you will browse our sell these now uh, playlist on YouTube or our product finding section on our blog page. So when you find a product on one of these suppliers and you want to see where you can get this product for a cheaper price on AliExpress, you can simply create a quick search by image. So this extension is simply going to take a simple image that you see on any other website and it'll find you that same product or a product that's similar to that from AliExpress sellers. So that's going to help you out find what products you can find on AliExpress that you found from other websites. The fourth is Up Assistant. Up Assistant is going to help you in a few things like how do I find more sellers that are similar to this seller that I just found, or what makes the seller a good seller or a bad seller, someone that you're trying to analyze on AliExpress. So that's gonna help you out a lot with that, check that out. Next, you've also got AliTools Shopping Assistant. This is also gonna help you analyze your sellers and get more sellers that sell a product that's similar to this one, or more sellers that are selling this product for a cheaper price. And with this extension, you can also see many, many customer review photos from that little extension. So you don't have to go down to the reviews and start downloading customer review images one by one to get more images for your product. You can simply get them all right here. And as I mentioned, get similar products so you can expand your research and find more hot sellers that other dropshippers haven't thought of yet. Number six, you've got AliExpress Parcels My Orders, and this will simply help you track your progress track the progress of your orders and see them in a much easier fashion in a much easier way and save time. So this way you won't have to open up each order one by one and track the delivery progress. You'll simply be able to all see it under one screen. Number seven, I recommend using the giving assistant button Chrome extension for AliExpress, which simply gives you cashback for your orders. So if you're processing your orders manually, and if you're wasting your time on that anyway, then at least get some money back with this cashback extension tool. Number eight is Easy AliExpress Video Finder. So if you're importing a product from a seller, but the seller doesn't have a video for this product and you wanna find a video for this product, use this tool to find a video for your product. Number nine is the AutoDS Helper extension and you wanna use this if you wanna grab all kinds of products if you want to grab all of the products that you see on one search page so for example if you're searching aliexpress for an office pen holder and you want to add all of the pen holders that you have in the results screen you can do it with the auto ds helper extension you can do more things in that with the extension but that's one of the main things that it helps you do it'll simply create a csv file and you can add hundreds or, or even thousands of products in one click to that to that extension and it'll create that csv file then you can upload that CSV file to AutoDS really easily in just a couple of seconds and get thousands of products at once. So that's the ninth and last extension that I want you guys to use when dropshipping on AliExpress. And all of these extensions are gonna help you with your product research, with your financing, and with your overall product research. Speaking of, let's go over and wrap up this long video with the best one-click upsell Shopify dropshipping apps to help you even maximize your sales on top of everything that we already mentioned in this video. So if for those of you who don't know what an upsell is, it's when you're taking a certain product, when a customer is taking a product, they're adding it to their cart, and then you're coming and you're telling them, hey, you know what, instead of this product, why don't you upgrade it and get this more expensive version of that product and upgraded version of that product with these benefits. And when the customer agrees, you're simply increasing your AOV, your average order value, and simply making more profits 
on each and every one of your orders because you are increasing the average order value. Since we're profiting in percentages, the higher the product price, the more we're going to profit. So what are the best one-click upsell Shopify apps to help upsell our buyers, our potential buyers who already started adding products to their carts on our dropshipping stores? So let's begin with the first one on the list, one-click upsell Zipify OCU. The second is an app called Goody Basky. And if you guys want, of course, explanations and tutorials and screenshots, it's all in the blog under this video. I simply ran out of time, so I'm gonna go over it a little bit quickly now. The third is an app called Product Accessories. Now this is more of a cross-sell, which is actually adding more products, actually, which are actually accessories to the main product, but we still had to add that one anyway because it's a great, great cross-seller. Then you've got Ultra COD pre-order and upsell, and we're gonna finalize that with checkout promotions and upsells. So check out those tools, see the benefits of each and every one of them, and choose the best ones for your e-commerce stores. That will wrap up this video for how to dropship from AliExpress to Shopify, a full guide, and I hope that you guys found it informational. If there are any questions, anything that you think I left out, let me know in the comments below and I will personally answer them. And I wish you guys the best luck with your AliExpress to Shopify dropshipping business. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this video if you appreciated the value and share so that your friends and family can also learn about the wild and amazing world of dropshipping. Good luck with your AliExpress to Shopify dropshipping businesses and thank you for watching.